Academic writing is meant for a critical and informed audience. It's based on investigated knowledge and uses hypothesis, theory, or arguments to arrive at a conclusion. It is objective, explains why the research is important, and organized so that other scholars can try to reproduce the results. Academic writing utilizes formal language. Authors of academic writing include university professors or retired faculty. They can also be scientists or research teams. Academic scholarship is disseminated many ways. Books, journal articles, and dissertations are three common venues. Books and dissertations go through a lengthy review process, sometimes taking years before they are ready for publication. The author has had their work reviewed by peers, fellow professors or researchers, and copy editors for both content clarity and grammar. Due to their length, books and dissertations are organized into chapters. They usually end with a final concluding chapter. Journal articles are slightly different. They go through a much shorter review process, anywhere from three months to one year. However, they are also reviewed by peers, scholars who are experts in the field of study, and journal editors. Because of their conciseness, they tend to follow a standard format. Journal articles in the social sciences typically include an abstract, introduction, literature review, hypothesis, methodology, results, discussion, conclusion, and bibliography or list of references. Let's take a closer look at each section. An abstract summarizes the important parts of the research. It gives the purposes of the research, the methodology used to collect data, and a brief conclusion. A literature review goes through earlier research that has already been done on the topic. It may also review research that has been done on tangential or similar topics that support or even refute the author's hypothesis. After the literature review, one usually finds a brief mention of the methodology to be used along with a detailed hypothesis for research. What is being measured and why? What is the expected outcome and how will data be gathered? The remainder of the article typically contains headings. The first is methodology. This is the method the researcher employed to test his or her hypothesis. Some common methods are coded analysis of interactions, survey, or experiment. After methodology comes the results. In this section you will find the author's data along with an interpretation of the findings. The discussion is next. Here the author will place his or her research within the larger body of knowledge on the topic. The author will also discuss the meaning behind the results in the previous section. The last piece of the article is the conclusion. Here the author summarizes the hypothesis as it pertains to the actual research results. The references or bibliography always appear at the end. It is a list alphabetical by author's last name of all the books, articles, dissertations, websites, etc. that were consulted and cited in writing the piece.